If the money in your pocket feels as though it doesn't go as far as it used to, it's because it doesn't. Not only do we have to contend with low interest rates, we also have to contend with inflation and its impact on our purchasing power. This means less money in our pockets to pay our bills, less money to plan for our futures, and virtually no way to increase our purchasing power over time besides investing and speculating. So in order to increase our purchasing power, we have to seek out alternatives to the traditional methods. This video will talk you through one such alternative. So let's start this video by acknowledging and highlighting who is going to benefit from watching this from now right to the end. Because I have so many conversations and I receive so many questions from people. And one of the big themes that I come across is people often saying that they struggle to gain control over their finances, i.e. you get paid every single month. However, the money just disappears and you don't really know where it goes, but it's gone. If that is you, this video is definitely going to benefit you. If you are currently or will be saving towards something specific, you have a goal. It might be a house deposit or a holiday or something where you're going to need to put money aside. This is definitely going to benefit you twofold. If you're a parent and at the moment, one of your key priorities is teaching your children the value of money, how to manage money, financial literacy. You want to give them a sense of financial independence. This video is definitely going to help you and be beneficial to you and your children. And it is also going to be really, really beneficial if at the moment you are just tired of low interest rates. You're getting next to nothing with a bank and you're looking for an alternative. We have on offer, I'm going to talk you through this in this video, a 4.8% annual growth rate that will help you boost your spending power. I will explain exactly what I mean by that a bit later on in the video. But first, let's have a little look at who Hyperjar are and how this all works. Hyperjar are an FCA authorized e-money account. It is an account that comes with a debit card, a MasterCard debit card. And essentially it is a, it's an app. It's a tool that is gonna help you gain control of your finances. It helps you budget properly. It helps you basically work towards goals within the confines of some structure. So how this works is it sits alongside your main bank account. And what you would do is you would transfer a certain amount of money into your Hyperjar account every single month and you would allocate your money to certain jars for certain goals. So again, it might be house deposit. It might be a luxury holiday. It might be something specific that you're working towards, but it will allow you to put your money into places where you can track it, you can physically see it, and you actually set yourself a target and you can physically see how you're progressing towards your target. If you are a parent, then you can assign pocket money to your children if that's what your goal is, to teach them money management, financial literacy, all that kind of stuff. The great thing is if they do spend money that you've allocated to their specific jar, and if you've got three children, for example, and I'll show you this a bit later on, you could create three jars for each of your children. And you'll get notifications when they've spent money, you'll get an activity log of what they spent money on. So you could essentially use that information to have conversations with them about money and where they're spending their money, why they buy the things that they buy. It will give you a really good foundation to have those kind of conversations with your children. So this, this app is really, really good. Now, one thing that I have mentioned is that they are an FCA regulated e-money account. And for many people, you may be asking, well, what happens if I use them, but they go bust? What happens to my money? And that is a really good question. So because they're an e-money account, essentially they will hold your money in a segregated account with the Bank of England. And I just have to stress this, guys, the Bank of England, not Barclays, not HSBC, not a high street bank, the Bank of England. The Bank of England is essentially the central bank here in the UK. If they go bust, the world pretty much comes to an end. So with that, you can take the comfort to know that your money is safe. It is extremely safe, in fact. Now, what would happen if Hyperjar were to go bust or their partners were to go bust? Your money will simply get returned to you by the Bank of England because 
your money is sat in a segregated, a separate account within the Bank of England. So your money will simply be returned to you from there. I talk a lot about security and making sure that the providers that you use, particularly if they are UK based, have regulation and you can get a sense of security. These guys do cover those bases really, really well. With that being said, what I do want to do is I want to demo a lot of the app for you so you can see how this actually works, how easy it is to create jars, how easy it is to link your card to these jars. And then we'll talk a little bit later on about the 4.8% annual growth rate that I've also spoken about and how they're able to deliver that within the functionalities of this app. You definitely want to stick around for this because it is pretty good. By the way, there is a link pinned to the comment section down below and in the descriptions that will take you to the app store to download the Hyperjar app. It is completely free to download. It doesn't cost you any money at all. There are no charges within the app either. So download the app, order one of their cards. This is the card that you get. It's a MasterCard. You can actually use this um, in shops. It is not an ATM card, so you can't use it with ATMs to draw cash out. So that's one thing that you do need to bear in mind and I'll cover that a bit later on, but you can spend money on this card in stores. So let's get into the app and I'm gonna show you how some of the functionalities work so you can get a better sense of how this can benefit you. So this is my account within Hyperjar. And within this, you're gonna notice that I have one jar at this point in time and it currently holds 17 pounds 28. When I originally um, opened and downloaded the, the app to open the account, I deposited 30 pounds and I've spent a little bit of money from this jar in order to test it in preparation for this video. Now, when you download the app, you would simply send money like you would send money to any other account. You have an account number, which you can find in the account section right here. I'm gonna blur out my details, but the detail is right there. You would send money from your bank account to this account. It will be credited pretty easily from there. So that's how you get money into your main jar. Now, as I've already alluded to, you can have as many jars as you want within Hyperjar. So if you wanted 20, you can have 20. If you want five, you can have five. Creating the jars are extremely simple. So this is what you would do. You click on this plus button, and let's just say we're saving towards a house deposit. So deposit, deposit. There we go, I can spell now. And you can set your goal. So let's just say, for example, the goal here is 10,000 pounds. 10,000 pounds, I'm gonna assign a color to it. So I simply then just save. Now, the great thing about this is if you are a couple and you're saving towards your house deposit and you want to do this jointly, it is very, very easy for you to add someone to this jar. So all you would do is click invite and it gives you options to either add someone nearby, you can scan a QR code, or you can add them from your contacts. Now, if, for example, your partner also downloaded the Hyperjar app and you wanted to be part of their jar, all you would basically do is click up here and share your QR code. So this would share my QR code to this specific jar and anyone who basically would scan this essentially would be able to join this jar. It's really, really important and really quite powerful in terms of the collaboration that you can, that you can get within this app to work toward goals with people if you wanted to. Now, if you are a parent, for example, and you wanted to create jars for your children, so let's just say you have three kids, you had Kevin, John, and Daniel, right? You would basically just repeat the process that I did when I created the house deposit and name it after your children, essentially. It's very, very simple. I'll show you how to order a kid's card in a moment. But let's just take it back to kind of like household and let's just assume that, you know, you want to have a jar where your household uh, shopping bill goes out. So let's just say Tesco's, right? So let's just create a jar called Tesco's. And let's just say you want to do your weekly shop from this jar. I'm going to show you how you link your card to this so that you can spend from a very specific jar for a very specific reason. So I'm not going to put a goal with this because it's Tesco's. Okay, I'm going to put this into a purple color palette. And essentially, if I wanted to add money to this jar, it's really, really simple. So all I need to do is go add. I would click the main jar where I've got money at the moment so with 1728 in there. And let's just say I wanted to add five pounds. I just go next, confirm that. 
and it will confirm it in a moment and it will tell me what the new balance in this jar is. Now, I've got five pounds in the Tesco's jar. So if I wanted to go shopping and spend money in this jar, from this jar, I should say, on your debit card or on my debit card, I will simply link the card and it gives you a couple of options. You can keep it linked until you change it or you could just link it for the next payment. This really does give you flexibility. So if you have multiple jars, you just need to remember, right, what is this for? And link the, the, the card that you get to that jar, either indefinitely until you change it or for the next payment specifically. This allows you to have real flexibility within the payment. I, I, I really, really do like this. So let's just say I said, keep it linked until I change it. It will link it. You've got the confirmation right there. If I wanted to unlink it, I simply just go linked again and unlink right there. If I wanted to just link it for that one payment, then it's gonna confirm it right there. Once you've made the transaction, it will unlink it automatically for you. So it's very, very intuitive. Now, let's just assume, and let, actually I'm gonna create a jar here. I'm gonna create a jar here for Kevin. And let's just say I wanted to add money into this jar for Kevin. It's a repeat of the same process. So all I would need to do is transfer from the main jar. And let's just say I wanted to give um, Kevin five pounds for pocket money. Confirm that, it will go next. And anytime money is spent from this jar, you're gonna get a notification, which brings me to how you actually go about ordering a kid's card. So you go into your accounts and you go kid's card and you order your kid's card from there. It is that simple. And they get this card, you get notifications when they spend money from their card in your jar specifically. You've got full control over this. And again, because you're getting all of this information, you can have conversations with them about what they bought, why they bought it, money management, financial decisions, all of that good stuff. It allows you to get getting those financial lessons very, very early. One thing that is worthwhile mentioning when it comes to the kids card is obviously there are no fees or anything like that when you order the kids card. And for them to have an account that can be converted to a adult account later on. So if you've got a 12 year old or a 13 year old later on when they're 17, 18, they can literally transfer or convert that the kids card into an adult account. And that just gives a little bit of continuity of experience, particularly with you know uh, the lessons that they would have learnt by you allocating pocket money to these, these jars for them. So they get a continuity um, of experience as well. And hopefully those habits will start to embed in at that point in time as well. So now let's talk a little bit about the 4.8% annual growth rate that I mentioned at the top of the video and how that actually works in app. So all you need to do is go into the app and go into my favorites, which is earn awards from your favorite brand. So you click on this right here. I'm gonna use two examples. So let's just say, for example, you're a person that does a lot of mileage for work. And let's just say that you get your fuel from Shell. What you could do with this is you could select Shell here in the app and you could allocate your monthly fuel spend an amount of money to Shell. So what you're doing is you're creating a jar and paying in an amount of money into that jar to be spent with Shell. Shell and Hyperjar will then reward you by allowing you to attract 4.8% annual growth rate on the amount of money that you deposit into this jar. Quite novel, but very, very ingenious indeed. And they're able to do this because they have partnerships with these brands. There is a mutual benefit. The brand knows that, for example, if your fuel bill on a monthly basis costs you 200 pounds, they are going to get the 200 pound spend because you've allocated that money. And in return, they're going to give you uh, an annual growth rate of 4.8% to say thank you. If you're not convinced about that, let's talk a little bit about something that may be a little closer to home and something that people are dying to do at the moment, and that is go on holiday. So they have TUI on the list here. So again, you can go onto TUI, create a jar, and deposit your holiday money into TUI, or at least plan towards a budget for a holiday where you know if you pay in £100 per month, that £100 is going to attract 4.8% as an annual growth rate, which means that your £100 will be getting that 
growth rate, attracting that growth rate, and essentially it increases your purchasing power. That's why I use the phrase purchasing power a bit earlier on, because for every hundred pounds that you put in, it's going to attract 4.8%, 4, 4 which is four pounds 80, increasing what you can buy with the amount that you allocate to them. Now, one thing that is really worthwhile noting with this is this. If you allocate money to one of these brands, you cannot then take that money out and allocate it elsewhere. It is meant for that, that brand. It is signposted and set aside for that brand specifically. So in your selection, you need to be really, really mindful of that. But again, it may feel like a little bit of a trade-off, but if you know that you're gonna be spending your money on a particular thing, and there is a brand in here that matches that thing that you're saving towards, it makes sense to allocate that money to that brand in exchange for the 4.8 annual growth rate. It is relatively simple to pick up and to sort of execute when you're there. But for me, it's quite a novel and ingenious way for them to give back, really, to be honest, and create partnerships with brands. And by the way, if there are particular brands that you want to see them have on the app, then by all means, leave a comment down below to let us know who you would want to see. Do you want to see Tesco's? Do you want to see Sainsbury's? Do you want to see Audi or Lidl? Who do you want to see? Because the more of you who are able to be vocal with that kind of stuff, it means that they can go back to the brand and say, look, we've got X amount of people who would love to see this kind of partnership. This is how it works. And hopefully they were able to come to a partnership that means that if you, are, if you spend money at Lidl or Audi or Tesco's, then you are signing your monthly spend that you're going to spend anyway, but you're attracting 4.8%. It's like a no-brainer. It's absolutely phenomenal. I think it's absolutely great. Um, so yeah, this is the Hyperjar app, guys. There is a link down below for you to download it. Again, it is free. So there are two things you need to do. Download the app. The second is to order your card as well. The card takes about two, three days for it to arrive. You can set your pin and all that inside the app and it's very, very easy to use. Again, just remember, you cannot use it with an ATM because they are not a bank, but you can use it for spending. There it is. Tell me what you think about this video. Is it useful? I hope that you found that it is. I think it's great. I think it's absolutely awesome, but I'm sure you're going to give me a piece of your mind and tell me what you think as well. If you're not listening to the podcast this week, there it is right there. Go and have a listen. I'm sharing my top five life lessons this week. Should be interesting. Let me know what you think of that. Um, but remember, money is a tool, life is for living. Thank you so much for watching this. Catch you later on.